There are big announcements expected this week for medical marijuana in Florida. Governor Scott says he absolutely intends to sign the bill passed Friday by the state Senate to make voters' decision to make medical marijuana legal in Florida. And a Suncoast medical expert is at the forefront of that movement. Dr. Jenny Wilkins from Age Vital Pharmacy has spent the last month presenting at cannabis conferences, and she's here to explain what we can expect in the state. All right, Jenny. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Another conference this weekend that just happened, and now you're hearing that finally after we voted on something, now it could be a reality. Oh, it's so exciting. Like, I seriously, when it when I heard on Friday, because I got that letter actually two weeks before everybody got it, oh, you know, yeah. I was included in it with a bunch of senators, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't stand it. This is going to happen. Yeah. So, so what does it children. mean? It's, it, it just means that now people, you know, that are chronically, chronically ill are going to have access to real medicine, not just all of the band-aids for boo-boos. You know how much I hate polypharma because it's, a, you know, toxic psychiatry. Our children are being prescribed and even our adults are being prescribed Adderall, Ritalin, Vyvanse, Trazodone, Xanax, Prozac, Volume. All of these things that don't belong in our body that damages the prefrontal cortex of the brain, damages the basal ganglia, induces bipolar Words disorder. Words that I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah. It, it, dispel kind of the, the you know, the, what it isn't. So this, this yes. is not giving street marijuana to kids. A, and that's not yeah. what you want. You mm -hmm. don't want, you know, a, you're not going to give a joint to a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. You're not going to give a joint to a horse or a mm -hmm. cat. You have really sick animals as well. When you're talking about medicinal cannabis, and then I don't like the term marijuana. I think it's so ugly. You know, that's the street name. Those mm -hmm. are for the, you know, the four percent of the population that just want an excuse just to get high. Okay. This is not a get high, you know, sing kumbaya, my lord, and then I'll, I'll let's just, you know, right. like like that. It's not this a hippie is, moment. Right. It's not a hippie moment. This is for real, chronically ill people. You know, doing real delivery mechanisms, pharmaceutical grade, having pharmacists and chemists and doctors be it, you know, are the ones that are, are creating the products that are involved. So it's metered dose and then the delivery mechanisms are going to be controlled so people know exactly what they're taking and the ratios are going to be, you know, perfect because you can't control, you know, a joint. You don't know how many milligrams you're getting out of that and what the half, uh, you know, life metabolism is going to be. So it's going to be cream forms, trochee forms, capsule forms, inhaler forms, um, injectable forms, rectal rockets. I know how much oh. we all love that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that we were expecting Why? that. No, no. <laughs> all right, so tell me about oh, the let's talk about your book. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Yeah, so tell me about the book, because I understand you wrote a book about medical uh, marijuana, or cannabis, I should yep. say, and you've broken a lot of things down. Tell what's in this book. I wrote this book specifically for my providers. Like, next weekend, I'm speaking at the American Academy of Pain Management in Orlando, and my doctors are going nuts. I have over 4,000 pre-orders now. I had 100 over at this event uh, that I did this weekend, the Southeast Medical uh, Cannabis Conference with Montel Williams, and this book is a medical reference guide. It's a PDR. Doctors are used to having PDRs, medical rep reference guides, in their offices because they can't remember everything. So they go back and they reference, you know, certain disease and then how to prescribe. Oh, and then okay. they have the supporting data in there. So all of the peer-reviewed studies that they say doesn't exist is in there. Everything from epilepsy to Parkinson's to MS to spasticity to So gait, literally it anxiety. breaks down the illness yeah. and what dose how or do what marijuana how would dose, work? Yep, right. how it works in the body. I have everything from critical extraction processes to the different, you know, extraction forms and even charts, you know, uh, uh, molecules and how the whole endocannabinoid system works with the phytocannabinoids. So really a very Again, words I don't know. <laughs> right. Well, the endocannabinoid system, that's the system that regulates our uh, cannabinoids. So the cannabinoids are the uh, molecules that are in the cannabis plant that activate, you know, certain uh, brain cells. Okay, really mood, quickly, tell us yeah. about the conference and how oh can people gosh. get involved? That was how how can people get yeah, involved? Yeah, because you have one that's well, you coming. Right? Montel Williams yeah. was at this last one. This oh my weekend. gosh, Who yes, else was part I, of that? I had the honor, and they had called me last minute to come in and be a part of this. Now they want me to speak, you know, all over, everywhere, wow. all over. I'm going to Mexico. I'm going to Spain. I'm going to Canada. Yeah, but this is uh, Art 420. I mean. Huge, huge lobbyist um, over here you have you know big powerhouse attorneys people that are really fighting the fight for the sick people it's a really phenomenal group of people that are just so compassionate and uh, so passionate about this industry and making change and making sure people are living clean non-gmo 100 percent organic and getting people off of toxic polypharma well i know mm -hmm. those who actually just need this medical marijuana or medical cannabis are, are rooting for you and all the work that you've done so good for you there and now uh, you, you guys can find out Thank more you. information about
about Jenny or some of the things she's working on at her facility, Age Vital Pharmacies on Main Street in downtown Sarasota. And next, when we come back, we're going to take Manatee County's new uh, television. We're going to have a spotlight on that, and we'll be right back.